I think we're here to struggle and to learn. I don't think we're here to be happy. That's why when we keep going back to the happy argument, I've always found that kind of frustrating and annoying. Yeah. Someone goes, oh, but I want to be happy. Why? Why? Like, I, why do you want to sit there and laugh? Like, like you you were happy your entire childhood. That's your happy days. You're allowed to be happy as That's a kid. It. It's all over now, right? You have, you're a man. You have responsibilities. I think we're here to do important things. And important things are going to be difficult. And they're going to be hard. And you're going to get frustrated. But that's what gives you purpose. I think we're here to struggle. I think we're here to endure pain. Yeah. I think we're here to just see how hard we are to kill. I think that going through terrible things and living through them and, and coming out the other side is one of the most fantastic things about being human. Uh, I think that it's it's almost like once you understand what life is really about, there's no emotion which isn't enjoyable. The only emotional state which can be seen as detrimental is feeling nothing at all. If you're sitting at home, you're feeling truly heartbroken. And at least you're feeling something, right? Yes, and, yeah. and, and I think that's the whole part of being human. I, I think we're here to struggle. I think we're here to go through pain. I wake up each day and go, what can I attack? What problem can I solve? So you just wake up and just say, give me this. Give me that. I want all of it. Yeah. There's an army there. They're really big. We're better. Yeah. It's intrinsic. You need to go and conquer. That's that's the purpose of life. Why did God create us to struggle? Because if you don't struggle, you don't learn. God created us to learn and understand ourselves and understand other people and understand the world. What did I say earlier? I said that you don't learn a lesson without pain. Mm -hmm. So you have to struggle to learn anything. There's only two ways to learn things, the hard way or the harder way. If you're smart, you can learn the hard way. But in my experience, 99% of the planet only learn the hardest possible way. If you want to feel happy inside of yourself and you want to feel content and you want yeah. to feel stable inside of yourself, you need to live true to God. And I'm not saying you can't drink a little bit of alcohol or not party or not have a little bit of fun. You have to be a good person. I don't believe in the societal paradigms in which they have tried to construct this idea of happiness. I don't believe or subscribe to the way that happy and sad is currently un understood by the masses of the population. I think if you are anything less than absolutely distraught, you are happy. And unless you've gone through an event, which hopefully doesn't happen too often, like the passing of a family member or something that's truly destructive, detrimental to your mindset besides these events which hopefully only happen a few times in your life you should be happy if you're not crying or paralyzed in silence due to the absolute magnitude of a detrimental circumstance or the absolute magnitude of a negative event then you are a version of happy so i am always happy it's the short answer i don't believe in not being happy i don't believe in not saying to myself i'm happy i'm always a version of happy and this chasing, this idea of chasing happiness and always being concerned and preoccupied with how happy you are is actually the biggest mistake that a lot of people make, I think, in the world today. Especially men who wake up and go, oh, I don't really feel happy, so I need to get happier. And that's how they end up down a yeah. hedonistic path of drugs or alcohol or chasing gambling, pleasure. chasing pleasure. I don't care how I feel. Yeah. I don't care if I feel happy or sad. It doesn't really affect what I do each day. I do the exact same things. I act the exact same way. I don't care. I don't put weight to the significance of the emotion. So I always consider myself a happy person. But if I woke up and I was slightly less happy one day than another, it wouldn't affect anything I do and I wouldn't put any relevance to it. I'm human and that's life. So yeah, am I any happier now that I have hundreds of millions of dollars than before I was broke? Not really, but I was never unhappy. I'm, I'm, I'm the same state that I was then, that I am now. I have work to do and I will do it. It's, it's, it's a, well, also, there's no light without dark. And there's no joy without pain. Can't have a rainbow without a little rain. No matter how hard you chase pleasure and happiness, there's going to be dips and troughs in between. There's going to be come downs and downtrends. And you're going to have the juxtaposition between that time you were laughing your head off and acting giddish like a child and the time that you feel depressed as such. And I think it's much better to just adopt a very disciplined, stoic mindset. I'm always the same base level of happy regardless. As long as I'm alive and the people I, I care about and love are alive and as long as I get, as long as God gives me the honor of doing my duties and providing for the people I care about, as long as I get to wake up and know that there's a whole bunch of people in the world who need me and I get to work hard to please them and do good for society and good for the world, then then I'm, I'm a vessel of God and I'm happy. I'm happy enough to survive. That's, that's all I look at it as.